Hi, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, we'll look at a theorem. In triangle ABC, we have to prove that A plus B by C equal to cos of A minus B by 2 by sin of C by 2. Now, we'll just leverage the law of sines where we know A equal to 2 R sin A, B equal to 2 R sin B and C equal to 2 R sin C. Since we see here by 2, we will try to leverage transformations and try to get this into this format. So let's go ahead. I will say A plus B by C is nothing but equal to 2R sin of A by plus again I have here B that is 2R sin of B A is 2R sin A and B is 2R sin B C equal to 2R sin C now I can take common TR so it will become sin of A plus sin of B by 2R into sin of now this is in a this is sin of a plus sin of b we know that sin c plus sin d form and the transformation from sum to product for that is 2 sin c plus d by 2 that is a plus b by 2 and cos of c minus d by 2 that is cos of a minus b by 2 divided by since we have here sin c we will convert that also into multiple sub multiple angle or half angle it will become 2 sin c by 2 cos c by 2 now we know that a plus b plus c because in a triangle all the angles sum up to 180 degrees so if you divide this by 2 you know that a plus b by 2 equal to 180 by 2 90 minus c by 2 so now sin of a plus b by 2 is nothing but equal to cos c by 2 right let's look at that sin of a plus b by 2 equal to sin of 90 minus c by 2. So I can go ahead and write it here. 2 2 cancels. Sin of a plus b by 2 is sin of 90 minus c by 2 that is cos c by 2. I have another cos c by 2 here then I have cos of a minus b by 2 by sin of c by 2 cancels out we'll have a plus b by c equal to cos of a minus b by 2 by sin c by 2 now in the same lines can you go ahead and check that a minus b by c equal to sin of a minus b by 2 by cos of c by 2 you can see that a plus b by c is cos by sin the angle will be the same but sin and cos will switch each other when you go from a plus b to a minus b so can you go ahead and prove that a minus b by c equal to sin of a minus b by 2 by cos of c by 2 and also I will just touch upon one thing which we, we have missed in the last session we know that tan of a by 2 is equal to sin of a by 2 by cos of a by 2 nothing but we have seen that it is equal to tan sin of a by 2 will not have a so it will have b and c 
and cos of a by 2 will have s and a so this is what is tan of a by 2 we saw that if i multiply with s into s minus a if if i multiply with square root of s minus b into s minus c both numerator and denominator i will have s minus b into s minus c by delta similarly if i multiply with if i multiply with square root of s into s minus a both numerator and denominator then i will have delta by s into s minus a so area so tan a by 2 is nothing but you can write it as this format depending on the need you can use this or you can use this or also you can use this because some problems we may have to go for this some problems we have to go for this that's only for the tan a by 2 tan b by 2 tan c by 2 similarly cot a by 2 cot b by 2 cot c by 2 will be exactly reciprocal of this that's all about the theory part so in the next session we'll start solving simple examples applying law of science law of cosines then we will go to tangent rules we'll go to projection rules and we'll try to apply all the concepts whatever we have learned in the previous sessions thanks for visiting bye for now see you in the next video